Hello, welcome to the Great Swamp National Wildlife Refuge. We're about 26 miles from downtown Manhattan, inside the visitor center at the Great Swamp, and we're going to take a tour today of the Bakoven Trail, one of the more popular trails here in the Great Swamp. And we hope to introduce you to a little bit of the history of the swamp, as well as some of the rationale for why the swamp is such an important refuge. Well, we just happened to come upon in the early morning here on our way out to the main Bakoven Trail, a newly hatched snapping turtle. It's one of the most um, common turtles we have here at the Gray Swamp. And uh, this little guy is looking for a place to start to feed on and we're gonna move him off the trail so he doesn't get stepped on. Here we are in the main woods of the Bakoven Trail. We're right beside the Passaic River, which we'll see in a bit. Lovely old trees that were preserved because there was an old farm near here. And we'll be walking, making several stops here. This particular tree right here is an easy one to identify because of the shaggy bark. It's called the shag bark hickory. Although be careful if you ever do this, it's got poison ivy crawling up the side, a vine climbing up the bark of the tree. So here we are beside the Passaic River. It forms, as I already said, the western boundary of the Great Swamp. And um, what is the value of swamps? Here we are in a wetland, part of really what's called a watershed an area that's drained by streams, eventually into rivers. And one of the main values of the swamp, of course, is it accumulates water rather slowly, acts as a natural sponge, so that rain doesn't, rainfall doesn't wash off quickly, forming floods downstream. Instead, it'll spread out over the swamp and eventually meander its way into the rivers, such as the Passaic. Well, here we have an interesting example of life and death in the woods of the Great Swamp. These pieces of um, an old dead tree have fallen off and the main trunk of the dead tree which still is standing. And the preservation of dead trees is a critically important part of any refuge, such as the Great Swamp. Dead trees which, at least hu around human habitation, they tend to cut down as soon as a tree dies. Dead trees are incredibly important habitat and breeding areas for squirrels, many species of birds and and even when they fall to the ground like this and start to rot away salamanders hiding under them finding shelter worms insects etc so uh, dead trees are really important an important part of the refuge yeah we just happened to come across a young raccoon which is this not paying much attention to us probably looking for something to eat or a place to hide from us one of the more common mammals here in the Great Swamp. This stop on the Bakoven Trail highlights the importance of vernal pools, areas in a forest where water accumulates in the spring. These pools will eventually dry out for part of the year, as they are now in late summer. The pools provide a critical breeding habitat, especially for frogs and salamanders. And because the pools eventually dry up, 
there are no fish that would feed on the eggs or young of these amphibians. In the great swamp refuge, vernal pools are used by, among others, wood frogs, spring peeper frogs, and the state-endangered blue-spotted salamander. As you either drive around the great swamp on some of the roads or take walks throughout the trails, you may see some of these large wooden boxes placed on metal posts. The box put out to increase the breeding population of a duck that only nests in holes in dead trees, uh, the wood duck. They're maintained and checked by a number of volunteers, usually in midwinter, and they've gone to, uh, they've really helped increase the numbers of wood ducks here in New Jersey. So we hope you've enjoyed this brief tour of the Bakoven Trail at the Great Swamp National Wildlife Refuge. We hope you'll take the opportunity to come yourself, you and your family, and visit the many wonderful trails here at the Great Swamp. It's open seven days a week, and uh, it really is something that's best experienced in person. Thank you.